Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Education. Uh, we're going to go through the um, Bookmap platform details here. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, we'll go to bookmap.com and uh, show you, uh, just give you a very quick tour of it. Uh, there is a free trial of the software. Uh, is 14 days, uh, and it gives you access to a lot of the uh, uh, resources, uh, educational resources uh, for Bookmap. Uh, one in particular is the Advanced Order Flow webinar uh, that starts uh, in about a half hour. Uh, there's an educational course as well. Uh, so um, this webinar here is uh, designed uh, to cover so for example let's go to our YouTube page here uh, the features and components okay what is bookmap showing you and what are some of the features and components of bookmap uh, once we've uh, covered a lot of that and there is a lot to cover there are a lot of features and components uh, and uh, once uh, uh, we've covered that uh, then we go into the order flow analysis uh, and uh, a lot of those, um, a lot of that uh, analysis is very similar to these video uh, order flow video snippets that you see here. Uh, it's phenomena that uh, it Bookmap can uncover, uh, and um, uh, if you want uh, to get an understanding of some of those um, uh, some of those phenomena, then uh, watch some of these videos here. Uh, you can also uh, come down here and watch some of the selected webinars we have that. Uh, if you want to peek into the uh, advanced analysis, uh, so you get a feel for what those are like. Uh, I think tomorrow I'll send out the, the link. Uh, if you attend the webinar here, I'll, I'll send the, week, the, the link out to you so you can attend the um, uh, 11 a.m. Uh, advanced analysis as well. So you get just a peek into it uh, so you know what you're getting into uh, with Bookmap. All right. Uh, but please keep your questions for the platform uh, in this webinar here. Okay. All right. You can also follow us here on Twitter. Uh, let me get to the website. Okay. So uh, go to bookmap.com. We'll click on explore. Uh, intro videos are here. And let's continue to scroll down. You just uh, get an, o an overview of what bookmap is. Okay. Benefits, etc. Some of our partners here. Uh, and uh, continue on. And connectivity. Okay. You will need a data provider. Uh, these are the ways that Bookmap connects. Okay, we we are a software platform. Uh, we are not a data provider. Okay, so here's where you can uh, give Bookmap a try. Okay, it's under the pricing tab. Let's just click on that. Okay, and there's the basic and the advanced, and then there's quant. Okay, there's to be honest, there's one version of Bookmap. It's the basic. The differences between the, these um, other um, offerings are the features, right? So the uh, there's 49 per month uh, build quarterly, 99 per month uh, build quarterly for the advanced. The difference between these two, uh, the ability to trade right from the chart, okay, the one-click trading, uh, the and these proprietary add-on indicators that we put together. Uh, this is uh, very specific uh, to the um, uh, for Bookmap uh, and order flow. Uh, since we can we can show the the uh, historical limit order book uh, very precisely, uh, now you'll be able to uh, have advanced analysis of that as well with the advanced version. Okay, quant features uh, you, you can see some of them connect your own data, um, uh, proprietary indicators, uh, order queue estimation, uh, and API connectivity, uh, just to name a few. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look here uh, at Bookmap and what is it showing. Uh, in fact, uh, let's see here. We're demoing some uh, trading activity earlier. I want to take that off. Oops. So we don't get. Uh, we want to show that. We just don't want to show this. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and let's uh, make the uh, sub chart. There is an indicator panel here. Okay, I'm not going to go over it in this webinar. We'll go. We'll uh, look at it in the advanced uh, if you have questions about it. Uh, it's a CVD indicator subchart here, the cumulative volume delta. Okay, a lot of uh, traders like to look at that in, in uh, context with the order flow. 
All right. All right. So let's look at, uh, well, we've been looking at the NASDAQ. It's been, uh, it's been moving. Uh, we've been looking at oil, uh, S and P starting to move a little bit. Uh, but let's, let's stick with, uh, NASDAQ, I guess, uh, and, uh, and take a look at what's going on. We had some news earlier, the ADP, uh, employment report. Obviously tomorrow's the big day. We have non-farm and, uh, employment data. All right. So let's, uh, drill in here and uh, what is book map showing okay so there looks like it is a lot of data here uh, it's actually really straightforward and simple it it's 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 even simpler than a candlestick chart okay because there is no derivative here of time price or volume all of that is just plotted here very very objectively on the chart all right, so let me, uh, I'll go through the demo here, and we're actually going to start with a candlestick chart, uh, even though it is a little more complex, to be honest, uh, and we're going to take off all the layers of information here, and then we're going to add them back on, and I'll show you uh, what book map is really uh, displaying here, all right? Okay, so candlestick chart. Uh, why this is more complex is open, high, low, close of a specific trading period, right? And uh, we actually have a, a lack of transparency here with the candlestick chart. We have no idea what happened within this candle, okay, in any of these candles. We don't know where the traders are lined up uh, to bid an offer. Uh, we have no clue where the volume actually took place. We just know, we can see here at the 9.30 open, there's a lot of volume, okay? There always is every day. Uh, and you can see the reaction. Uh, to this. Uh, however, uh, uh, we don't know where that volume took place. Okay, Was it down here? Was it up here? Was it in the middle? Uh, we, uh, we need uh, transparency uh, into that to make more informed trading decisions and bookmap will solve that. Very simply, we're gonna we're gonna just gonna add on the best bid and offer. Okay, uh, and um, uh, what this is gonna allow us to do is immediately see uh, microstructural areas uh, within this candlestick chart. Okay, so see, William, you have a question here. Is it possible to get a daily report of the previous day's range and actual range on Bookmap? Uh, what you can do, uh, William, is um, uh, you can. Uh, it's uh, actually a really nice feature here. Uh, you can add a new. Uh, just right-click in a column here. Okay, and this window pops up here with the different kinds of data to show. Let's let's choose notes and let's choose um, a custom notes column. Okay, and I, I've I've opened up a, or changed the data type here to a notes or custom notes column. And then I can click here and uh, just uh, left click and uh, I can add a custom note. All right, and. Uh, Let's uh, give it a style here. It it's already shows a style. You can also have um, enable notifications, okay, alerts uh, to uh, to pop up. And uh, let's click OK. And there's my note, okay. When you when you uh, have an alert on it, it will also show a thin line here. Uh, so uh, when price comes up into it, uh, you will be alerted, okay. So we can zoom in here and um, oh, I can just uh, left click, hold, and drag. Uh, and uh, move it, okay, and then it says custom note here, all right, as I zoom in. So in, in terms of daily report, well, let, let me let me explain. Um, Bookmap, uh, once you open up Bookmap, you start collecting your data, okay. Uh, so if um, uh, you want uh, previous days high, low, etc., cetera, uh, best way to do it is through the custom notes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this has actually been requested, uh, William, and uh, I think um, we, we are looking into it. Uh, there is a quicker way to do this than just every day do your custom notes, uh, and that is through cloud notes, okay? So uh, let's right click here and we'll come down to notes and you can choose cloud notes, all right? And it uh, looks like I'm using the one from FT71, okay? I believe this works here. Okay, if it loads, can't load. Okay, uh, I think the URL. I have to. I have to update this. But um, uh, anyway, the um, you can have a uh, CSV, a comma-separated value um, file, 
on a on a uploaded uh, uploaded on a server, and uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, input your uh, open high low close and uh, value area high low whatever it is you're looking at you know overnight high low etc. Uh, and then uh, once you update it on that file and it it saves it will update here in your in your cloud notes. Okay, so it, it shouldn't take a, a long at all. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, uh, that's uh, that's what we've got. Uh, and let me turn this back to uh, a current order book. Okay. All right. So let's get back into, oh, you have another question. Check the website of, uh, oh, John Marco uh, Suliu. imports all all of the uh, levels from Sierra I'm um, not sure uh, it sounds like he's got something special set up uh, you know for that to work all right uh, but yeah that's all possible in fact um, one of the no another feature here in uh, in bookmap uh, is uh, over here you can see API add-ons configuration well uh, we have uh, an open uh, platform here uh, open architecture it's uh, there's an API uh, it's written in Java, and you can write your own custom indicators and trading strategies. Okay, there are three here that uh, chase, escape, and execute. Uh, these um, uh, these little uh, trading strategies, uh, I can demo them for you if you guys are interested. But uh, uh, in general, they read the limit order book. Uh, they're looking for imbalances in the book, uh, and then to uh, once an imbalance a condition is met. Uh, you can uh, have your order filled. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, William. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how he's got it set up. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, it sounds like he's got some sort of custom arrangement to have the um, uh, notes uh, uh, come right into to Bookmap from Sierra Charts. Okay. I'm not really sure. Uh, probably, probably what he has is it probably exports to a uh, CSV file from Sierra Charts, right? And uh, once it's exported, then it's able to be read in Bookmap, and then uh, that it'll import the uh, uh, cloud notes. Okay, all sorts of ways of doing it, all sorts of ways of programming it yourself. Uh, so we have that open architecture available for you. Okay, that's a huge feature here uh, in Bookmap. Okay, so uh, I have really gone off uh, from the uh, presentation here, so let's get back into it. Historical best bid and offer already, uh, if I can zoom in and look at this five-minute candlestick from here to here. Each vertical dotted line is a minute of data. Look at how this actually unfolded. There, it didn't go straight up like this. I mean, there's, there are microstructures in here that were broken, uh, and um, it auctioned higher, it accepted higher, it came back into these, these zones here uh, of previous value, it uh, continued to the upside, right? All of this kind of data here is lacking in this candle. We have no clue uh, that uh, this whole story uh, unfolded here. And uh, just looking at historical best bid and offer is part of it, right? Um, so the... Um, uh, what about the volume? Where are they really committed here? That's what we want to know, uh, and that uh, this will give us tremendous insight to see where those traders uh, really push the button uh, and committed uh, to the uh, to the chart, okay, or to to the to the instrument. Uh, so let's uh, turn on the volume dots, okay, and now we can see that. Okay, look at the aggressive buying here. Okay, this is something that we see in the advanced all the time. Um, this is uh, uh, initiated buying, okay, uh, at a high, all right? This is a breakout, all right? Uh, and this is in very indicative of the order flow in a trending environment, okay? It's actually um, a really, really good example. Uh, this is where they started to buy. Uh, you know, you see it kind of creep up here, but this is really the key right here, okay? And that would be at, uh, at, at 6,028. All right, we see more initiated buying where higher highs. This is what drove price upwards. Look at the pullbacks in these little areas here and look at the trading that took place. Very little. 
All right. So uh, uh, on the pullbacks here, we see little selling. Sellers are not interested. Rotates higher into the uh, value area, previous value area, and we get extension to the upside. All right. And we can see, we know that these, these traders are committed uh, in this trend. All right. All of that's completely lacking in this candlestick chart. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, we show volume here uh, in a very particular way graphically. Uh, and it's a lot like a, a footprint chart, uh, except that the footprint chart, um, it will aggregate this data. Right. So let me let me explain or I'll just zoom into this area right here. OK. All of this kind of microstructural area here, you're just not going to see it in a footprint chart. Why? Because it's just going to it's just going to rotate back and forth within the same candlestick uh, or period or whatever it is, rotational period, uh, and um, aggregate that data. Here we have all of the data that has unfolded. So you're not going to be able to really see in the um, uh, footprint chart uh, the uh, initiated buying here above a microstructural level. Okay, we come back down into that level, uh, but uh, we reject right back out of it, okay, right here with initiated buying again to a new higher high, okay. Although this is microstructural, uh, this fits uh, into uh, a fractal um, uh, concept here that you'll see this again and again uh, on higher time frames. okay. It's just how the market works. Uh, so now we have an understanding of the volume, and in fact, uh, let me uh, let me show you uh, what I mean here with the uh, it does not aggregate the data. If I continue to zoom in here, okay, I, I can I can continue to zoom in to see every single market event, right? Uh, we're down at microsecond level. We can continue down to nanosecond level. Okay, uh, we came from the high frequency environment. Uh, writing algos uh, for that environment, uh, and uh, and this is a visualization tool uh, for uh, that that uh, that environment. If you're not trading um, uh, through um, uh, you know uh, 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 automated strategies like that, it doesn't matter. What we've got here uh, is um, we aggregate this data. Uh, just visually and graphically when we start to zoom out. So you get this overall, like this pie display here. We know there's buying and selling up here. There's more buying than selling, but uh, we, we, uh, we can understand that. We see what's going on here. All right. Okay. Um, so that's uh, the, um, the volume uh, and uh, uh, understanding that within uh, this candlestick here. Uh, gives us that level of transparency that uh, we're really lacking here uh, with the uh, with the candle. All right, we're see, we can see a little shift in the order flow over here, and a move back down to. Let's see if we get a move back down to this critical area. Right? Why do we think this is a critical area? Because this is where they initiated the buying. Where did we come down to test? Right to it. Okay. You're going to see this again and again. This is the kind of transparency I'm speaking of. All right. Now, uh, what about uh, where they're uh, bidding and offering? What about that data? Okay. We don't have that data uh, within this chart right now. Okay. Most of us, what we'll do is we'll go to the dome. Okay. And uh, the dome here in Bookmap is right here. It's the COB column. Okay. Current order book. So you can see my depth of market, okay? Best bid and offer is right here. Uh, this is the depth on the offer. This is the depth on the bid. Here's my price ladder. And this window reflects the same um, uh, best bid and offer right here. And this is the last traded volume, okay? Now, in the dome, we can see the liquidity levels. We know where the traders are lined up to provide liquidity. Look at, at 22 right here, 78 contracts. It's the thickest level in the book at this time. Okay, so we know that there's buyers that are willing to buy at this price level, uh, and um, the um, uh, this is good information for the current condition of the market. The problem is that once this data uh, changes and these numbers change constantly, all day long, okay, uh, once they change, well that that data is uh, is lost. 
historically. You'd have to remember it. You'd have to note it down. There's all sorts of data here uh, that you would have to note, and it, it takes quite a bit of effort uh, to uh, read the dome and understand the order flow, to understand this price level. What about, did they start to pull as price came down to it? Did they add to it as price came down to it? If they pulled, did they add up above or below? Uh, what about other traders? Did they front run this liquidity? All of this kind of information is pertinent to understand the auction. Okay, look, we're down at 22 right now and they pulled, uh, you know, uh, some of that liquidity. Okay, I'm imagining some of it traded here as well. But we'll, we'll see in just a moment, okay, because we don't know. Uh, so, um, uh, but we can show this in bookmap because what we do uh, is we take this dome data and uh, it's, it's transposed onto the chart historically. So let's do that. Okay. And I'm going to turn on the indicators as well. All right. So uh, that area here at 22, this is what this auction looked like. Let's zoom in here. Okay. High liquidity in the book. Okay. We noted that earlier. We can use the hover or the data tip tool, uh, and it shows us here uh, there were 81 contracts here. Okay, we have the date, the time, 81 contracts on the bid at 6,022, and then um, we have another line of data there that uh, is showing order size um, of the price there um, and the price level. Anyway, uh, here's what here's what really occurred. Okay. Actually, they did have intent to trade. Uh, they started to pull, but they you can see that we're trading into this high liquidity here. Okay, So uh, we, we have an answer to the, the traders at this price level. Okay. Uh, they were um, uh, they were they were interested, uh, not 100 percent interested. If they were 100 percent interested into this price level, they would not pull. They would stay in the book uh, and. Um, uh, they would probably add into it as well, and they may even add at higher price levels here. Well, we didn't see that, right? So the sellers took them on, and we trade through this price level, okay? In fact, you can see where they pulled uh, here, and then uh, you can see that uh, uh, the aggressor uh, hit hit the um, uh, hit the bid uh, and uh, and pulled price down uh, to lower levels, okay? That's what unfolded in this auction, and that's what we were witnessing as price came down through that area. Okay, we know exactly what happened here. Okay, so if you're looking now for uh, sellers, uh, you know, maybe you're looking for a pullback, for example. Well, you have good information that we might pull back to these levels here because this is where the sellers supported price. Okay, here we come to test that area right now to 22. And let's see. Okay, did the seller show up? No. <laughs> Here's our answer. Okay. Uh, and uh, they, if they would have shown up, we would have seen high liquidity that flipped. Uh, it would it would be on the bid or on the offer here, okay? And we'd see that uh, price would come up into this area and it would absorb, and we'd see it pull back to probably down to this area here, okay? We didn't get any of that, okay? So these guys, they didn't show up again in the auction, all right? Okay, now that is compared to... Uh, let's look back at this level, okay, that we looked at earlier. All right. Okay, so we were looking at this, uh, remember, uh, 6,028 here earlier, okay, because this is where they initiated. Well, they provided high liquidity there as well. So when we came back down, these guys were in the book. They actually started to pull. Uh, and... Um, uh, that's exactly where that here's our 6,028 right here. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and we, we can start to see that, um, uh, they, they pulled, but then they added back in with higher liquidity at this area here. And then we have exhaustion basically on the seller side and look at the, uh, the aggressive buying here. Okay. They pull this liquidity from, uh, uh, this area here and we see them charge up, uh, to the upside. Okay. So they, the, the buyers were still here. Okay. They initiated in this area uh, after the, seeing the uh, pullback and down into this area uh, at 6,028. Okay, so uh, this is the kind of insight and clarity that we're talking about. Okay, look at this big wall of liquidity here. Okay, they're absorbing on the way down. 
right? Uh, and uh, we can uh, zoom in here and we can get a feel for, well, some of it's pulled and some of it is absorbed, okay? Uh, and, um, uh, and look at this nice flush through here, uh, all the way down to 6020, okay? And uh, let's see if this area here, what, what uh, kind of unfolded here, okay? Well, they started to pull as well. Interesting, interesting stuff. Okay, they're pulling on both sides here, and we're not, they're not actually, I mean, we see the aggressive selling here, okay? but uh, the buyers start to take take over right, and this is why I, I was covering that microstructural areas here, okay? This little area right here, okay? This is where the buyers, they pulled up out of that area, and now we're trading in a new zone, okay? And look, if we look across, we get our retests back into that area, and the buyers come back in again. Okay. Finally, one more one more retest here, uh, and uh, and then the rotation back up. All right. Okay. So uh, let's see a few more questions. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, William. So you have a you have a. Um, uh, WordPress. Okay, so this is great. Um, I I don't know if I'm going to be able to copy this. Maybe I can. Yeah, let's 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 try this. Okay, I'm going to insert, right click, insert a new column. Uh, right click. We're going to go with a cloud notes. Okay, and uh, oh, I'm not sure exactly which. Let me just go with book map here. Can I paste this in? Okay, whoops. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like I, I, I've got it uh, got it set up for you, uh, William, to show that. But uh, you can reach out to support. We'll, we'll help you on that and get you get you up and running. Um, uh, what on the heat map indicates pulled orders? Okay, well um, that's a that's a great question. Uh, let's let's take a look here. Okay, so uh, and we can zoom in here. All right, now look at the the transaction. Okay, so let me use the the uh, hover over or a data tip tool. Uh, we see that uh, uh, the date, the time on the ask is 153 contracts here. Okay, then this big volume dot here for a volume of 150. Okay, so these guys did not pull, right? These sellers got what they wanted, uh, and um, you know there's a little bit of latency in here, okay? Because um, you can see that the the best bid and offer is a little bit behind. It actually um, uh, occurs up over here, but the trade volume is correct. This is where the transaction took place, uh, and um, uh, there was a, a few contracts left over, but a lot of this was absorbed here, okay? Uh, and, um, uh, you know, cause we have the, we have the volume and it took place within that area of high liquidity. All right. So this, now we have that answer, right? Uh, and, um, uh, and you can see it again here, right? They're trading into that high liquidity up here and they're staying in the book at 6022. All right. Uh, and, um, uh, the, um, uh, pulled liquidity, that's uh, really, really easy to see as well, okay? Um, uh, well, yeah, we, I think we looked at this area here, and they, they, they're they absorbed. They actually, they are absorbing here. We, we know that, okay? We can see it, okay? Uh, but uh, look at some of the other areas, um, you know, like down here, for example. This is what pulled liquidity looks like. They, they have high liquidity here, okay? Uh, we have 72 contracts. Then they pulled to 60, 65, then they pulled to 52, and then as price comes down into them here, uh, they went from 52 to 38 to 42, and then, uh, you know, it's uh, a 20 here, right? So that's what the pulled liquidity looks like. Is the shades of gray get darker, okay? And then you can answer that question if these guys really wanted to trade. Was this real liquidity? Uh, and the answer is no, because uh, they, they do not have the intent to trade. Okay, so uh, now you can uh, uh, look at this limit order book and you can uh, understand 
uh, the intent of the traders, where most most traders out there who uh, trade off of the dome will say like, well, I don't really look too much at the limit order book because a lot of that liquidity is fake. Uh, I, I think that uh, I've just demoed that uh, we can make a distinction between a liquidity that is fake or not, okay? Uh, and uh, it gives tremendous insight to the order flow in the auction and um, uh, the intent of those traders at those price levels. All right, all right, guys. I've gone over the t over the time. Uh, let's call it a day, and we'll uh, see you uh, tomorrow, same time. Uh, and I'll I'll hand out the um, uh, link uh, tomorrow for you guys for the uh, advanced analysis uh, webinar. Uh, so uh, I'm going to skip over to that right now and start that one up, and uh, you can you can uh, uh, get a peek into that tomorrow. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Bye-bye.